Hi! In typical 2020 fashion, this year's Kentucky Derby was postponed for the first time since Second World War. This world-famous horse race is the longest continually held major sporting event in the United States and was originally scheduled for May 5th. But this weekend the horses will finally compete in the most exciting two minutes in sports. And there's only one cocktail fitting for this occasion, the mint julep. But before we get off to the races, let me just say a huge thank you to everyone who comments on my video, share them with your friends, hit that like button and subscribe, it really means a lot. We are a small team that loves cocktails and creating these videos, so you can make them too. So thank you again, keep doing what you're doing and we will too. And now, it's cocktail time. Mint julep is the classic of the American South and it's the official cocktail of the Kentucky Derby. Just like the Moscow Mule, this cocktail also has a specific cup we'll serve it in. A julep cup. Make sure to only touch the top or bottom rims of the cup. That way the frost from the ice will form evenly on the outside. And again, don't worry if you don't have one, just use a metal cup or a double rocks glass. With the term julep, historically meaning a sweet drink used as a vehicle for medicine, it quickly became mixed with several different spirits. Brandy, rum and even gin were used, but I'm sure it didn't take long for people in Kentucky to mix in their very own bourbon. Bourbon has since become the staple of the mint julep. We are using Woodford Reserve, a superb Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey that has 13 gold medals to its name. It's crafted from a grain recipe of 72% corn, 18% rye and 10% malted barley. This mix of sweet, spicy and nutty notes build a base for one of the most flavorful bourbons out there. And even though we don't have the special released Kentucky Derby bottle, this bourbon will still make the perfect mint julep. We'll also need mint, obviously. Simple syrup and ice, lots of ice. We'll start by muddling the mint with the bourbon. In recent years, around 120,000 mint juleps are served over the two-day period of Kentucky Oaks and Kentucky Derby weekend at the Churchill Down racetrack. They need to harvest over 450 kilos of fresh mint for that. Today, we'll just need around 8 to 10 leaves, depending on the size, while keeping a couple of nice springs for the garnish. When muddling, make sure to do it gently. If you crush or shred the mint leaves, they'll release chlorophyll, which is bitter. And muddling with alcohol instead of with sugar will extract more of the aroma. Woodford Reserve typically has a rich, fruity and woody smell, but the mint just takes over. And that's what we want in a mint julep. After adding the simple syrup, it's time to get the ice ready. This calls for crushed ice, so we'll use a mallet and a Lewis bag to take all the frustrations out. And also crushed ice. You could use a blender to crush ice, but you will end up with wet ice, which will over dilute the cocktail. Using a canvas bag to crush ice works great, because it won't tear and it soaks up water from the breaking ice. And it's really fun. Don't worry about having your drink being all ice and watering down too much. Because of the alcohol, the drink will actually chill below freezing temperature and the ice will then melt slowly. You can see frost forming on the outside, that lets you know that your drink is properly chilled. And that's what made this drink so popular in the hot summers of Kentucky. Now fill it all the way up, creating a small ice cone, where we'll carefully place our mint bouquet. You know the drill by now, don't forget to spank the mint. This, along with the placement of the drinking straw next to it, will give the drinker that wonderful minty noseful before every sip. And that's it, here's to the 146th Kentucky Derby. Riders up! This first sip is still quite a boozy, spirit forward drink. Woodford Reserve Bourbon is a great base for this sweet and minty summer refreshment. This is an evolving drink and should be sipped slowly. This level of quality is meant to be savored. The good news is, you'll get to enjoy it longer. Quick fun fact, the strainer you've seen me use when preparing some of the stirred drinks on this channel 
is actually called a julep strainer. That's because it was used to hold back the ice when drinking without a straw. And you wouldn't want to mess up your mustache while doing that. The julep strainer was patented in 1890. Let's see if it still works. I love discovering these historical tidbits in the world of mixology and also how some inventions evolved and found their place in other aspects of bartending. Oh, and if you want to buy a really special julep cup, this is actually your lucky year. Woodford Reserve's annual $1000 and $2500 julep cups are on sale now. Just 146 cups are available for sale, 121 silver and 25 gold. This year's cups commemorate the 50th anniversary of the Derby's first female jockey, Diane Crump. She finished 15th and cemented her place in Derby history. The cup will arrive on your doorstep nestled in a walnut box. Proceeds from the cup sales will go to charity. Just for fun, I leave the link to the cups in the description. That's it for today. Whether or not you'll watch the Kentucky Derby, the mint julep is a great cocktail to enjoy if you need a cool down. Thanks, see you next Thursday. Well, I won't see you, you'll see me. But I will read your comments. Let and Lou is back to take all the fr frustrations out. <laughs> ah, la, la. <laughs> Make sure to only touch the top or bottom rims of the cup. <laughs> Queen, quick fun fact. Queen fuck fact. <laughs> Thanks for watching till the end and for your support so far. If you like this episode, share it with a friend. And as always. Cheers.